Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Cossacks 3. Today we are going to be playing the War Roost tutorial, and we are going to be doing the War Mission. Difficulty is on normal. We have hard, very hard, and impossible, so yeah, about that. This tutorial mission will teach you tactics and combat orders, introduce you to different kinds of troops, how to use their advantages for the common good. Well, let's start the mission. And here we are. My king, battles are costly for both armies and don't happen too often unless both parties involved cannot avoid them. But today is a day of battle. We did everything to prepare for a fight. The rest is in the hands of God. No bullet would hit a soldier unless the Lord wills it. Nice to have him on our side then. We are ought to win. So, that's right. We have... Pikemen form the bulk of our infantry. Obviously, they are armed with long pikes. These weapons do great job clearing enemy infantry and are especially deadly against their cavalry. See those armored soldiers in helmets holding pikes? That's them. That much is obvious. Alright, Swedish Reiters. We have pikemen. Musketeers make up the rest of our infantry. They are armed with muskets and gun down enemies at range. They can't fight in melee. If enemy comes up close, they'll have to retreat. Do not leave them without a screen of melee fighters or they will end up slaughtered. One more thing, they need iron and coal to fire. If you run out of one of these resources, your musketeers will have no ammunition to fire with, rendering them useless. It's good we have plenty of ammunition stockpiled. And these are pikemen. These are sick Cossacks. Part of our cavalry consists of reachers. See those armored horsemen? It's them. Readers are used to fight in melee. Cavalry is much faster than infantry, of course. So use this advantage to reinforce vulnerable spots and to deal surprise attacks on the enemy. On my honor, these riders can rival the companions of Alexander himself. And Dragoons. We have Highlanders. The rest of our cavalry consists of Dragoons. They are the horsemen armed with muskets. Like musketeers, dragoons do not fight in melee and retreat once engaged. They likewise need iron and coal to keep firing. These mounted musketeers will help the reachers break through enemy ranks. They can gun down enemy pikemen at their leisure as the opponents stand no chance to catch up with them. And we have Highlanders from England apparently. Raider Sick Cossacks. And my king, time to move into position. Send the pikemen ahead. There are two ways to do so. Engaging any enemy they encounter or ignoring them. If you choose the first option, your soldiers will march into position fully prepared for fighting. If they encounter enemies, they will attack and pursue them. Second option means they are to hurry towards their designated objective and ignore all distractions. Even if the enemy attacks them, they will only defend themselves upon reaching their position. They should march and kill anyone they meet. No time to turn the other cheek. Alright, so follow the advices and win the battle. Move pikemen to the specified position. To order your soldiers to move and attack, select them, press A. And right click at their destination. Oh, this is annoying. It'd be nice if we were using the wads keys rather than the arrow keys to move. Anyway, we have pikemen from Austria. So they have an officer and a drummer. And these guys are pikemen. We have musketeers, we have cannon. Pikemen, dragoons, we have highlanders, we have pikemen there, we have Swedish writers, and pikemen there. More pikemen down here, which we cannot select. Okay. 
So the only thing that we can select is these guys here. Press A. Now that the pikemen are in position, they must be ordered to hold it. That way, they will not be provoked into fighting, but will stand their ground if an enemy dares to attack. Holding a defensive position gives an advantage in fighting. Very well, let them stand their ground. You can order your soldiers to hold their position by pressing S. They will not pursue enemies upon reaching their destination, will gain some defensive advantage. My king, do you know what branch of service claims most enemy lives? Artillery, of course. No amount of pike and shot combined can deal as much devastation as cannons. They can fire very far, destroying manpower and buildings alike. But iron and coal alone are not enough to keep your cannons active. You need gold as well. Unlike dragoons and musketeers, cannons can fire at very close ranges. They use cannonballs at long range and switch to canister shot when the target is close by. Canister shot is a kind of ammunition consisting of numerous small metal balls. One volley of it can slaughter a great many unarmored soldiers. Be careful though. Canister shot can't tell a friend from an enemy, bringing down anyone who stands in range. Make sure there are no friendly troops on its path. Another thing, cannons can be captured if they are left unguarded by soldiers. Never leave them unattended. I got it. Let's bombard enemy positions. Fire at the enemy troops with your cannons. Be careful around your artillery. Yep. So we are going to select the cannons and have them attack. And there they go. Unfortunately, I cannot zoom out anymore. <laughs> All right, they are backing away. My king, our fire forced the enemy to bend in their position. Their musketeers seem to be unprotected. Do you remember they cannot fight in melee? To close in on them swiftly and leave them no chance to escape, use light cavalry. These horsemen are faster than riders and dragoons. You have some mercenary Cossacks filling this role in your army. They'll do wonders in a surprise raid. Let me see if they were worth the price. All right, so we have 100 sick Cossacks. Attack the enemy muskers with your cavalry. There they go. Although I really wish I could. And then attack. horses and we've eliminated most of them and there they go warships are a powerful force in their own right if somewhat limited by requiring some water to sail in a warship is a big artillery battery Capable of doing a lot of harm to the enemy. Fortunately, our opponents have set up their base on the shore, and we have a ship of the line ready to do battle. We can use its tremendous firepower to destroy their camp. Send orders to our captain at once. So we have this ship here. Unfortunately, we... Okay, nice. It doesn't look so, so bad. It would be nice if we could rotate the camera. That'd make this game a little bit more 3D. So, yeah, but that... Anyway, we are going to attack. And 
And they are retreating back to their camp. We apparently have some, whatever these are, Pandiers from Austria. Yeah, I'd really like to be able to zoom out the camera a bit more. This just seems very restrictive. How close do you have to get? Wow. Well, they are effective. Let's see. Attack them. Nice. My king, do you hear the thunder of enemy drums and the whine of their flutes? They are going on the offensive. We'll see what kind of dough they are made of. I commend their bravery to unwillingly march to their deaths. Follow the, you can add soldiers and buildings to quick selection groups to do so. Select the objects you want. Press the... Alright about that. Well, we are going to bring the musketers forward. We are going to put them there. Now, where are they? There they are. Alright, so we have round shears, we have musketeers, and we have musketeers. Now we are going to send the Dragoons over here. We're going to send these pikemen over here. Swedish readers, we're going to send them over here. Possibly. Actually, we'll send them this way. Pikemen there, we have some pikemen. Bring them over here. And the Cossacks, we will have them over here. Oh, bother. No, no, no. Oh, dear. guys after them and these are musketeers pull them back pull them back Pikemen, go. And let's send them that way. Go into their flank. Send them this way. Cut them off. And how are we doing over here? These guys are dragoons. We win. <laughs> Congratulations on your victory, my king. Following your wise orders, our brave soldiers have triumphed, penning another glorious page into the history of our great kingdom. I had no doubts the Lord wants to grant us victory. Victory! Press escape to exit. All right about that. 
Well, at this point in time, I guess that is it for that tutorial. I expected a little bit of a more lengthier tutorial for the war one, but it looks like it's only going to be one relatively short episode. So with that said, I'll say thank you for joining me for this tutorial episode of Context 3, the war tutorial. If you'd like to see more, let me know down in the comments. I've been debating whether to play full campaign or not. I have nothing specific planned, but I did want to check out the game, put it on the channel, because I did get a copy provided to me by GSC Game World back in September, and due to some timing, never got around to it. But I decided to take a look at it, and I may, of course, do more in the future, but I have no guarantees or decisions about that. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and as always, have a good day. Thank you.